Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. So for today's video, I thought that I would sit down and talk you through what I'm gonna be packing in Penelope, who is my little girl, if you don't know, um, her travel bag for when we fly to Orlando in a couple of weeks time. I thought that this might be quite interesting for anyone else who is going on a travel journey soon and you need to know or you want some ideas for what to take in your bag that's going to occupy a kind of preschooler. Um, so yeah, so I hope this is helpful. And also, please, please let me know if there's anything else that you think I need to add to this bag, or if there's anything that your little one has found really useful or distracted them when you've gone on a plane journey. Like, let me know, because I've still got a couple of weeks, so I've still got time to add things to it. So yeah, so my little girl Penelope, she's three and a half, um, and yeah, this is going to be the longest plane journey that we've done with her. We went to Crete last summer, so that was four and a half hours, and she was absolutely fine. Um, I did pack her bag like full to the brim with things to do. So this is kind of like also taken on what I know worked last time and the kind of things that she likes. Um, but yeah, like I said, please do let me know if there's anything else that you think I need to add because yeah, I'm starting to get everything together. I want to start getting everything kind of like packed and kind of ready to go. I've still got a couple of bits to arrive. I did a little bit of an order on TikTok shop. Um, so I'll kind of talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I've got quite a lot in front of me. So yeah, let's begin. So the first things that I'd get unpacked and I'm going to get these out of the way are probably the things that are potentially going to entertain her the most and that is a tablet and a phone ideally I don't want her and like also she's not going to have the attention span to be on a tablet or phone for nine hours that we are flying but these are definitely I think going to be very useful and important for that flight um so this is just an Amazon Fire tablet so what I've done is I've downloaded a load of stuff off Prime um, but I need to log in to Disney and Netflix and kind of get stuff onto there as well and she's also got some headphones which I need to get I might try and get them in a minute so I don't forget them which she usually uses for her Tony box but they will fit in here for the tablet um, and then what we also did, this worked really, really well for the last plane journey. This is one of my old phones, all works absolutely fine. So we just went on to, logged into Netflix, logged into Disney, and it just meant that all of us had a phone because we were a bit like, we didn't want her to use our phone and then us be left without a phone. Henry last night did a TikTok shop order and he ordered some like phone holders for us all that kind of clip into the tray. Um, TikTok got to him. So yeah, so he's ordered one of those for us all, which looks really cool. Now let's go on to the other activities. Now, obviously the thing is with like toddlers, and I feel like especially with like three-year-olds, they're very unpredictable. You never know what they're gonna like. And usually a lot of the time, what I think Penelope is gonna like, she doesn't. So I've tried to cover all bases and include things that I think she's going to be excited about. Okay, right. So we've gone for like themes because obviously we're going to Universal and we're going to Disney. So most of these are Gabby's Dollhouse, who's at Universal, Trolls or Disney themed. So I've kind of gone a little bit mad on the Gabby stuff. So I've got this little uh, carry along colour set. I got this from Primark. It was £1.80, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And you've got, it says 40 colouring sheets, six crayons and one sticker sheet. And it's a really cute little pad. So I thought that was super cute. And what I'm also going to do, by the way, is I'm not going to do this for everything, but like every other thing I'm gonna wrap it up like a present so I think one of Henry's friends recommended that we do this and this worked like an absolute treat last year because she was so excited about having a present to open so even if you're just wrapping up like stickers it's still really exciting for them and what we do is we would give her like one of these presents like every kind of hour um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have one specially for when we get on the other side at the airport so she can get in her pram open a little present I'm going to try and work out what's going to be the best thing to kind of keep her occupied in case there's like a long queue at security I've got another Gabby thing here so this is from the works and this is a scratch art pad now she actually had one of these in her airport bag last year but it was a bluey one and this was such a big hit she absolutely loved this and it basically comes with like this wooden pencil and then you scratch it off 
I have bought some stickers. I mean, what toddler does not love stickers? I saw these on Home Bargains and these are Grinch stickers. So obviously the Grinch is gonna be at Universal. Um, I've downloaded the Grinch for her to watch on the tablet. Um, and they're the kind of like puffy stickers. So I thought these might be quite fun for her to stick on like the window and then they should hopefully, like they'll peel off quite easily as well. But yeah, they're these really kind of puffy stickers. So I thought, oh, they'll be quite fun. She can kind of stick them around everywhere and then we can peel them off before we get off. And then they also had some just kind of regular Christmas stickers, which I thought were really cute. There's like unicorns, fairies, that kind of thing. Yeah, so I did do a bit of a big order on AliExpress. Now don't get me wrong, I don't love ordering off those kind of sites. Um, so, but I did find some quite, quite cool bits. So I found these stickers and it's basically like, so these are Gabby stickers. It's like you kind of do the faces and the accessories. And she's had a few kind of similar kind of dress up sticker things before and she absolutely loves them. So yeah, so I got a Gabby one. Also had a Trolls one. She absolutely loves the film Trolls. It's one of the main reasons why we're going to Universal is because they've got the DreamWorks Junior like land bit now. Um, so yeah, so there's a Trolls one. So she is gonna absolutely love these and I think she's gonna have a lot of fun because she really loves doing this kind of thing. So I thought, okay, that should hopefully keep her occupied for quite a while. So next I got her a little game. So this is one of the Orchard toys and this is Little Bug Bingo, a fun game featuring mini beasts. I definitely recommend taking one of these kind of games away with you. Last year we took like a shopping trolley game and we'd play it by the pool and she absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, so I saw this actually when it was like the Prime Day sales back in the summer and I picked it up then for her because it was really cheap. But Penelope absolutely loves mini beasts. They do a lot of stuff about mini beasts at nursery. So she's, she's really like interested about mini beasts. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, perfect. And I just thought this could be a really fun game that we can all do. Then I was in Home Bargains the other day and they had loads of really good sticker books. I definitely would recommend Home Bargains as like the best place for sticker books. I feel like they're the cheapest. So I picked up this Disney Princess 500 stickers for £1.49. I realised that I don't really have much Disney Princess stuff in the bag. So when I saw this, I was like, perfect. And yeah, there's kind of like activities, which I think she'll like doing, which is kind of a good thing that you can do together. Um, and yeah, it's all... It's all Disney princess and there's loads and loads and loads of stickers. So she is gonna absolutely love that. And then they also had this Mickey super coloring book, which was $1.99, but it comes with some pencils. Um, and what I really liked is the fact that it's like the drive-in Minnie and Mickey. Cause I don't know if anybody else has the magic timer or will be like teeth brushing app. There's a mini, which is like a driving mini and Penelope is obsessed with it. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to get that because she loves the little driving mini. Top tips to save a bit of money because obviously it can get quite expensive, like even buying like these things at like one, two pound. Have a look online for coloring sheets. So I literally typed into Google, Disney princess coloring sheets and I came across loads of free ones on the Crayola website. So then all you do is just print them out, which is absolutely amazing. And they're so good. So I printed out rucks of them. So you've got like Ariel, you've got Belle, you've got Cinderella. Um, they also have trolls. Oh, there's Princess Poppy. Um, so yes, yeah, so they had loads and loads of different like licenses, which was so good and it's all completely free. And then talking of colouring in, I literally take these everywhere with me. These are like, like a must do. And it's the Crayola uh, Colour Wonder set. So I absolutely love these because they're just kind of like, there's no mess with them. So if you kind of, if you don't know about these, definitely get to know them if you're a parent. They're kind of like this magic paper, which, and then the pens have no colour, but when you draw on them, the colour comes up. So yes, they're really good for like, not getting any mess anywhere, not getting any stains anywhere. I need to go through these because this is like just her normal kind of pack and I potentially might get her a fresh pack. I think you can get like a Disney princess one. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take out the ones that she's colored and um, leaving the ones that she hasn't. And yeah, she's got an array of different colors. Now let's talk about like activities and toys that I've got for her. 
Um, so I picked up these little Disney princess stamps. These are again another AliExpress special. Um, and I just thought these would be quite fun. They're quite small that she can just stamp on like her coloring, on her paper. This was something that was recommended a lot to me on Instagram. And I really don't know how I feel about it, but I've taken your advice and I've bought her some little tubs of Play-Doh. So these were actually um, from Primark and it, there was four of them, but I don't know where the fourth one has gone. But anyways, it was a set of four for one pound. They had loads of like toys in a sale. So I was like, excellent. So yes, yeah, so I was like, it doesn't really matter if they're rubbish because they're literally just for flying. So yeah, so I've got all these little tubs of Play-Doh. I thought they're really cute and dinky. And then what I've done is I've just put some of her shapes in a Ziploc bag. So I've got like a couple of rollers, just some shapes, nothing too crazy. But I thought that she could do it on like the table that if she gets really, really bored, she's got a bit of Play-Doh to play with because I mean, Penelope loves Play-Doh. I think it is potentially like her most played with thing. I've also bought like some squishy fidget toys for her. So there was this squishy glittery ball for one pound in Primark. Penelope absolutely loves anything that is squishy, like fidget toy kind of stuff. She just, oh, she loves it. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to get that. Um, from TikTok shop, I've ordered this little kind of squishy octopus thing that she's seen one of her favorite YouTubers play with. Um, and I've also ordered from TikTok shop a little LED drawing screen. She has had one before, but we've lost the pen to it. So I was like, I'm gonna order her a new one. Um, and loads of people had recommended those for airport travel bags. So I'm sure she will absolutely love it. I might try and see if I can maybe get like another squishy fidgety toy thing. I think, oh, where is the, oh, there's another one here, which she got recently when we went to a wedding that she really liked playing with. So what I've done is I've like, I've hidden it. Um, so that she kind of doesn't get used to like playing with it and I thought what I'll do is I'll pop it in a little toy bag and then she's got the surprise of it again but yeah these kind of fidgety toys and poppers and stuff she absolutely loves. I picked her up her little Elsa bracelet which I thought I could wrap up and I thought she'd absolutely love that and then I found these again on AliExpress all of these little Gabby toys um so they were super cheap and like I said, Penelope absolutely loves Gabby. She's got a Gabby's dollhouse, so she can put them in there afterwards. But I thought these were so, so cute. And they're so, so dinky that they're not gonna take up too much space to travel. And I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap them up. I might potentially wrap them up individually and then she can have a few and open them and they'll be the fun of kind of working out which character it's gonna be and then she can play with them. One of her most played with toys last year, and I need to find the thread for this, was this kind of beading kit. Now I'm in two minds whether to include this or not because it's like, well, she is a year older. Is she gonna find it as kind of interesting? Um, but if you've got like a two and a half to three year old, having something like this, this was from Jojo Mum and Baby, and it comes with like basically a shoelace and then you just thread the beads through. And Pen absolutely loved this. She played with this so much. She played with it on the plane. She played with it in our room. She really, really loved it. It's pretty much it. Like I said, I've got a couple more bits to come. I've also included this really, really big uh, muslin cloth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna add in some claw clips because I'd seen this hack online where you literally lie this out like in front of their seat and then attach it to like the kind of wallet fold a bit on the seat in front of you with claw clips. And then they've got somewhere to rest their legs so they can kind of stretch their legs out and be a bit more comfortable. Um, so yeah, so I've packed this one and she has got another one, which is a safari one, which I'm also gonna pack. And they also kind of double up as like blanket. But I think that is everything. So like I said, if there's anything that you would recommend for a kind of toddler, preschoolers travel bag that's going to keep them entertained please do let me know like I said I've still got a couple of weeks so we've still got time to add stuff in um I would rather kind of have too much than you know not enough and have be like really bored like the main thing is I want to try and keep up obviously I'm another big thing I'm going to be packing all of the snacks I was saying to Henry look like, oh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed thinking about how many snacks that I need to pack for the plane and how many snacks I'm gonna have to pack for when we're out there as well. Um, I'm gonna have to just go mad and just buy <laughs> loads and loads and loads. Again, if you have any tips or anything that you think I need to add into this bag, then please do let me know. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about it. Like I feel like Penelope's a pretty chilled kid. 
um, there's no point getting stressed and anxious about it. I'm sure what will be will be. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, if you do have any tips or words of advice for doing a long journey with a little one, honestly, I'm all ears. But I hope this has been interesting. I've got loads more Disney like videos coming up. I want to do a haul. I'm waiting for a few orders to come through. So I want to do a haul of stuff that I bought for me and Pen. Um, potentially do a bit of a packing video. So yeah, so let me know if that sounds good and you'd like to see those. But I thought, yeah, I'm starting to sort out her airport bag. So um, I thought that I would get everything out and speak through it. So I hope this has been like useful slash interesting. But anyways, I'm going to go now. I hope you're all really well and I'll speak to you soon.